Hey guys, how's it going? Uh, Pterly84 here, and um, I'm just going to make you a, a video here real quick and show you guys the completed build of my uh, Vega Pro Stock and let you guys see how it turned out. Um, I think it turned out pretty good. I'm really happy with it, um, and I think all the detail I put in it turned out really good and everything, so I'm pretty excited about this one, um, and I... Uh, Finished it a couple days ago, and I'm just finally getting around to making a video. So uh, I'm just going to get into that and show you guys how it turned out. And then um, I'll probably put a slideshow at the end of this so you guys can uh, see some pictures of it. So anyway, but here we go. All right, there's the box. It's the uh, AMT. Uh, it's the Twister Vega Pro Stock. And um, that's how it would have looked if I would have followed um, the box art and everything. But I didn't want to do it like that. I thought those decals on the side there were kind of cheesy. And I don't know, I just didn't really like that. So I decided to do it my own way, of course, uh, like I do most of my kits. So anyway, but it's a 125, uh, skill level 2. And, um, it's not super detailed, but, you know, I changed some stuff into it and added my own detail. So, anyway, but I'm going to show you what I've got. Alright, well, there she is. And, uh, as you guys can see, it's nothing like the box. Um, I did it black. And, uh... Uh, I changed the motor out and put my own uh, motor in there. It's a big Hemi that's in there, supercharged Hemi. And um, I used decals from, just extra decals from a few other different kits that I had and everything. So, um, but yeah, I think it turned out pretty good. Here's the front. Um, I didn't put the hood on it uh, just because it wouldn't fit with that big old Hemi underneath there and everything. So I just decided to leave the hood off. Uh, here's the other side. And everything. Paint seems to have a really good shine to it. And then the back. It's got the uh, um, parachute there and the wheelie bars. Um, didn't come with the kit. I realized after I had almost got the thing totally put together that there was no tail lights in there. So I kind of had to make my own, but I think they turned out pretty good. So, uh, here's the other side. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much how it turned out. Show you guys the motor here. Uh, it's all wired and plumbed. Uh, it's got the dry sump oil system and all the electrical wiring and everything in there. Uh, there's the, that dry sump tank and the plumbing for that. Um, and then it's got the uh, um, stabilizer bars that run down in there and basically like an extension of the roll cage that runs into there. Um, added that in. And then here is the interior. Uh, you can see the battery is where the passenger seat would be. And um, that's that Optima battery that I made. Uh, to look like one. And then there's the connectors and the battery cables that would run to the motor. Um, in the back here is a nitrous oxide tank, and I've got like a braided line that comes off of that. Uh, you can see that it runs off the tank and down the floorboard and then through the firewall. Um, then here is the other side. There is the driver's seat, uh, the racing harness, and then... Um, the roll cage is in there. It fits really good with those little pads that I made for it. Uh, there is the dash, and you can kind of see a little bit of the detail on it there. But there's the dashboard. Um, there's a, uh, a fuel tank back there. Um, you can't really see it too well, but there's a fuel tank back there. And then there is a fire extinguisher um, connected to the roll cage there for accidents and everything. 
So I think it turned out pretty good. I'll show you guys the bottom. There is the bottom. Um, the custom exhaust. Uh, the headers come off of there. And then run off into these pipes that come off down here. So I didn't really do a whole lot of detail underneath the bottom of it. Uh, it's just a pretty clean build. No weathering or anything. But um, I think it turned out pretty good. So, uh, anyway, that is it for the Vega, and um, I'm happy with it. Uh, just let me know what you guys think, and uh, here comes the pictures.